Okay, my hands are very messy now and I want to show you something else that I got. So, so that one, so once you do that, then it has to set aside and, and just dry. Um, so that the tube paints just dry out. So generally what I do is I take it and I set it up on the shelf next to the camera and I just leave it there. It takes two or three days and they'll dry out completely and that's perfect. I have a drawer just for my Daniel Smith tubes. So these can all go down in the drawer now. All right. So I have this other set. These are um, hard to get, little known Italian watercolors. They were a pain in the neck to get. They're not super cheap. They're artist quality. I think they're hand mixed and handmade. Um, I will put the um, link in the description below. Once I heard about them and I was chatting with the guy online and they're honey based, um, I really wanted to get some and try, but it was a matter of saving up funds and, um, and then it takes a while to get them here. Although they got here a lot faster than I thought they were going to. Um, and I, have, I haven't tried them yet. They're, they just came in. I don't know how to say that. Yes, I'm Italian by heritage, but I never learned Italian, so I don't know, but that's the name of the company. This looks very similar, of course, to the Prima palette. Um, it's your standard pocket pal metallic pocket, pocket palette, and um, I haven't opened them or anything yet, so we're going to do that now. Um, first, we're going to take our card and make our color key. This only has 12 pans in it, so... I can divide it in half. And thankfully, the color names are in English on the wrappers. I was worried about that after I ordered it. I was worried I'd have to go get one of my ants to translate. Now these are, you can tell, see you should really measure them if you want, if you want your squares to all be the same, because those are clearly not all the same, but that's okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write the names. It's funny that the ultramarine blue has a purple label. It's this one right here. So I'm interesting to see, interested to see um, what the color looks like. I do wish they had put one less brown in here and a purple. It has black, which is okay. I prefer paints gray, but um, yeah. There's three like brown tones. I know nothing about these paints, um, so let's unwrap them and find out. So I'm going to tighten this up a little bit because it's a little loose by pushing the little fingers in. I'm going to try and save the little labels because that's what I like to do. And then, yeah, pop them back in. It's nice that the pans are full, but they're not full all the way to the top. Um, some of those metallic co colors I just poured were a little too full. And I can tell these are made with honey, like that one I just stuck my finger in was a little bit sticky. That part I'm not going to like, I can tell you already. But 
but I think I might like the way they work on paper, so I might have to just deal with it. <laughs> you want to make sure when you're working with paints um, that are artist quality um, and have pigments in them like cadmiums that you wash your hands, that you use um, some kind of art guard or something on your hands before you get started, that you don't have any cuts um, because different pigments like cadmium are toxic so they make beautiful colors but they're toxic so I like that they're wrapped, I like that they're wrapped well hate unwrapping them and that's not just true of these that's true of all artists great paints <laughs> they're just kind of a pain even the primas it's just especially when you have like no fingernails there we go so there's one row okay let's get these out I will try to remember to include links to both the Daniel Smith website and this website. Zeki is how I want to say it, but I don't think that's the right way. I'm, I'm sure if my grandmother were, were alive, she'd correct me and I, she'd be horrified at my lack of ability to say the, anything in the Italian language properly. I may split this up, in, up into two videos, so if you're seeing this one and going, what, Daniel Smith paints? <laughs> um, that um, would be because when I'm filming it, I'm doing it all as one, but if I've decided to split it up and you don't see, um, you, we go right into this palette and you haven't seen the Daniel Smith one, I'll put the link for that video in the description below. And the links for the Daniel Smith website will be in that video. Okay, now this one, these are dried cakes, although like I said, they're, I think the binder is honey. Um, so, they're a tad sticky, and they look shiny, I should say. Um, but they're dry, so we're gonna have to re-wet them so we can make our color key. Keep my water. Okay. water without the metallic stuff floating in it. Yeah, there we go. Need a rag. Oh. Okay. Alrighty. Look at how bright that is. That's pretty. So I put the majority of pigment at the top and then I just pull it down with water so we can get like a gradient. I'm gonna have an idea of you know what it looks like. <laughs> 